We are following breaking news in Norfolk, where a man is in custody after an overnight barricade situation. And thank you for joining us on Wavy News 10 on Fox 43. I'm Don Roberts. And I'm Katie Collette. Norfolk police first responded to a home on Wellington Street around 1 this morning. This is in the Norview area off of Chesapeake Boulevard. 10 on your sides, Kiana Patterson is there. And Kiana, police were there for more than six hours. Well, police say a man is in custody after an hours long barricade situation here on Wellington Street. I'm here with a friend, Karen Bryant. She says that she was out here all morning long. This was a domestic incident that then turned into a, a barricade situation. Tell me about what happened. Well, I got a text message from Marsha Capri, which is my friend. It's there across the street from me. And um, she was telling me that, hey, sis, she had texted me. And the text message said, hey, sis, um, go get my key from the house and open the door from the cops but I didn't pay any attention because I know it was always uh, you know probably an argument or something like that and then it started to get serious after that um she texted me again was like he won't let me he won't let me go so I'm like I comes outside and I'm I had already been out like back and forth come outside see police off officers out there on the side of the door her side of her door and on the opposite side and then in the back so basically i see them going walking around the back basically and um after that um i she she texted me again was like tell the police to let you in tell them i said let you in this and the third so i'm like are you okay i'm texting her back and we're, we're at this point we're changing messages i'm at and I'm like, are you okay? What's going on? So she's like, just go to the officer. So I went to the officer. He was like, man, do me a favor, just step back. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't at all. So he's like, just follow me. And I'm telling him to get, you know, she has a key. So he told me follow him. I went around the back. And then after that, um, he um, had me with him for a while, asking me questions and asking me how do I know her. And I've been knowing her for at least two years now, excuse me, for at least two years now, telling him, you know, that, you know, she has a key. She wants you guys to come in. She wants me to open the door, and I couldn't get in. I wouldn't do it at all. So basically, um, um, they told me they questioned me more, and she was texting me while they was questioning me, and um, she was telling me that um, please, just, you know, basically help her or you know get in inside with it. I don't know, understand why they won't let you get in with the key. So after that, um, it's back and forth, Texas back going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So um, I just stood out here for about five, probably five to seven hours, five to seven hours, seven hours at the making most, sure just making, okay. making sure everything, I would not leave until she was fine. So and she, was and fine. she is okay. It's okay, she's okay, and she's, I'm happy to see. Um, and it ended peacefully. And very, it ended very peacefully. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. so she stayed out here to make sure that our friend was okay after that. Um, domestic incident turned into a barricade situation. Um, she does say that there is a history of violence with this couple, and she said she wanted to be there for her during that time. We do know that the door is kicked in here, and police are still here on the scene, but we are working to get more information on the suspect in custody, and we hope to get that a little later in the day. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.